Hey internet, a headset needs to be good at two things, good audio and a good microphone. Unfortunately, one doesn't guarantee the other. You can have a headset with great audio but a subpar microphone. And you need a good microphone for a lot of things, whether that's taking online meetings, streaming, online classes, recording a voice note, or recording a voiceover. More and more, it's kind of embarrassing when the audio input of your microphone is not great. Sound and audio pickup are a little thinner compared to my usual headset. And so that's where this guy comes in, the Antlion Mod Mic. This is a completely separate microphone which is light enough so that it can attach to any headset via adhesives and magnets. Or you can also hold it around like a traditional handheld microphone. Seems pretty straightforward, but there are two basic questions to ask about the Antlion Mod Mic. One, is it easy to set up? And two, how good is its audio input? So installing the Mod Mic onto any headset is pretty straightforward. There are instructions. You clean the surface of the headset, you stick the adhesive which has a bit of magnet on it and that will clamp on or the mod mic will clamp on. The mod mic has another magnet and it will clamp onto that bit which you stuck onto the headset. Straightforward, easy enough and the kit comes with everything that you need. It even has alcohol wipes to clean up the surface to make sure that the sticky part really gets to stick. There are multiple bits of sticky bits and multiple magnets. So I appreciate that the package is not only complete, but it's also redundant. They give you a lot of extras. The magnets are super strong. I have no doubt that once the mod mic clips on to the corresponding magnet, that it will stay on. The adhesive is perhaps the weakest link in the solution, but in my testing with it, the adhesive seems to have stuck well, no problem, and there is no sign that it is letting go of the headset. Once you have the mod mic attached to your headset, you have to install the receiver onto your computer or laptop. It's very straightforward. Just plug in the receiver, it does its automatic thing. You don't need to touch anything or install anything. And then you just sync up the mod mic and the receiver and you're good to go. I only had to consult the instructions for two things. One, the exact button presses to get the mic and the receiver to sync up. Initially, when I did it, it synced up automatically. But then when I unplugged the receiver and plugged it in again for a next try to use the mod mic again, I did need to sync it up. And two, I had to consult the instructions to figure out how to turn off the mod mic. How long to long press to turn it off. Straightforward, instructions were simple, figured it out, no muss, no fuss. Also included is a long cord for the receiver which helps to ensure that you are able to keep line of sight between the mic and the receiver. So this is great like if you need to step into another room, you don't need to bring your laptop or if you're tied to a desktop, even better because it's impossible to get your desktop from one room to another. Here you just attach the receiver to the cord and then you can trail the cord after you or basically string it along with you as far as it can go as you step out, maybe to get a bite from the kitchen or maybe to go into the bathroom or whatever. So the cord gives you added flexibility that the mod mic will still be able to see or transmit to the receiver without any intervening walls or any other obstructions. Again, a good sign that Antlion has thought about how people will be using the mod mic. A lot of us do not use the mic sitting down unless you're a streamer, but if you're taking online meetings or online classes, you will want to move around occasionally, but still use the mic. And the cord that comes with the package will help with that. And as this is a wireless thing, the mod mic does come with a battery. I only charged it once when I first got it and then never needed to charge it again during my entire time of testing. Granted, this is a very unscientific approach, but my superficial impression is that the battery is fine. It, lasts long enough at least for around 8 hours or so of use which is what I subjected it to during testing. And again, I haven't had to recharge it even after those hours of testing. So for sure, a marathon class, a marathon meeting, the mic will last no problem. And of course, the most important, how's the audio quality? I did two videos with the Antlion, so actually you can judge for yourself. The latest Price Watch episode, link in the video description below, was filmed using the Ant mic as a handheld microphone. 
I also did a live stream, Crypto Watch, so that's around an hour plus of live stream using the Antlion as my microphone. So don't take my word for it. You can go to those videos and hear for yourself kamusta yung quality ng mod mic. But if you do want to hear from me, my impression is that the audio quality is pretty good. A lot better than a lot of stock microphones, especially if your headset is a little on the budget or entry level side. Finally, gumagana yung chat box na integrated so we can both see Facebook and the YouTube comments at the same time. And you know what I'm talking about. It's very easy to discern when a microphone is kind of on the cheap end. There's this kind of like, the speaker is in this vacuumless room and there's this kind of like weird dead zone when they try to talk into the microphone. It's a little hard to describe, but you know what I mean. Parang very halata pag pangit yung quality ng microphone which I didn't have at all with the Antlion mod mic. When we started tracking October 2022, the price of the 3060 was 23,590. Honestly though for me, it's good but not great out of the box. I used the mod mic with my laptop through OBS which didn't have the usual settings of the OBS on my desktop. So there was no pop filter, no noise gate, all of the kind of basic audio things that you set up to make sure that the microphone picks up the things that you want and doesn't pick up the things that you don't want. Kind of basic, right? But you know, the pops and then the underlying hum of fans and things like that, the clack of the keyboard sometimes. There are basic filters that you put in place para hindi marinig ng audience yung mga ganyan, which I didn't set when I was using the mod mic. So you can hear all of those things. It's kind of poppy. Especially you can hear that in the price watch video. So out of the gate, out of the box, the mod mic sounds good, but I think it would sound even better with tweaking, with very basic things that you usually set up before you use any kind of audio input device. With those tweaks, I think the performance of the mod mic would be greatly enhanced. So the mod mic is a standalone mic, meaning you buy it separately. It's a third-party peripheral to whatever headset you already have. And it will set you back. It's a little pricey. It will set you back around 8,000 pesos, which is pricey. Not gonna lie. It's a little expensive for a standalone microphone. But... If you really like the quality of your headset but are just let down by the quality of the microphone, if you're a professional that uses the microphone a lot, whether for your meetings or for your interviews or whatnot, or you're a streamer, again, another kind of professional that really needs a microphone, it's money well worth it, especially because the performance is even better after you tweak it a little. It's not for everyone's use case. I mean, if you're a student or if you're a gamer, that just cares about the audio quality and you can get away with kind of major pang the microphone, definitely spend your money on something else. But if people need to hear you professionally, if you're a teacher, if you do a lot of online meetings, online calls with clients and things like that, you probably want to think about upgrading your microphone, your audio input device. And what's nice about the mod mic is that it does have that quality, plus it will work with any headset. So that makes it portable and that makes it versatile. So you can stick it on whatever headset you already have that you're happy with, except the stock mic of your headset is no good. That's where the Antlion mod mic comes in.